Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a photo, a regular old photo, into a P, uh, an ICO file. Uh, so, so that you can put them as, you know, any kind of like a picture set, this is stuff right here. I could change that folder into something else. I'm using a special program, and it's a little cool icon like that. It's called like Tycon. And I'll show you how to get that right now. Go to, hold on one second, crystalxp.net. Okay, um, crystalxp.net forward slash a bunch of other stuff. I'll put that in my description there for you guys. Um, you can download it here. It's a really small file too, only 267.48 gigabits, gigabytes, whatever you want to call it. I like calling it gigabits, and it's um, works with XP and Vista. So if you have either of those, it works great. Then just go ahead and click download. I would suggest I would suggest um, downloading this in Internet Explorer because. Mozilla doesn't really show you when it blocks a download. I mean, you can probably go to properties and stuff like that, but Internet Explorer always does it for you. A little bar like this would pop up, and just right-click it and say, Download File. And I have a desktop, and actually one of my f and it just comes with a zipped, uh, zipped folder like this, to Y can crystal blah 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 blah. Then the files right here. You want to extract all the files? Just go ahead and pick a spot. Just hit, just click extract all files and then find whatever spot you want on here and then just go and I have it right here to Y cotton just open that up there's no installation actually need for this you just double click it then it say run and then bam we have it right here works really good tool all you have to do is now to find a photo work with some right here let me find them real quick and here, I just have a picture right here, it's just a little one I made a long time ago in Photoshop. Not really that good, but it's right there. Um, now what you want to do, see so you have the box right there? Just click, click on your picture, and just drag it. Oops, sorry about that. You click your picture. Minimize this for a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. It has to be a PNG file, though, to tell you the truth. And so, right here, a PNG file. Go ahead drag and then drop the photo right into the box then it'll and then so if this doesn't pop up on you you can exit out of this you can right click it then options and then click choose destination and I have make sure it's checked I have it checked so it tells you where it's where it's uh, you know chosen at and where you want to put it and then you can always on top of your page you know if you open up an explorer this little box will always still be there well it's a really cool tool then you can just you know drag it and drop it in there and I'll just I already have it saved. Just click OK. Then now you can set it to basically whatever you want. I have it right here. It's just as simple. You really can't preview it though because now it's an ICO, it's an ICO, ICO file. Wait, and then if you want to push the on icon here, I'll change one for you. I will change my Cam Studio folder a little bit. Just right click on it. Go on to Properties. If you're using if you're using XP most time, and just change the icon down here. But if you use a Vista theme like I am, just go to change icon, then browse for the one that you want. There it is. It's just something like that, just an ICO icon file. Just click open, then click OK, then click apply, and then it should be. Right there, see that you already now you changed right there. You can put to whatever you want, any kind of photo that you made, and it works really well. So there you go. It's just a quick preview on how to change your icon pictures into maybe even your own pictures. Really simple. All right, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.